cookie in here. <laughs> Big salad because we eat so unhealthy as mukbangers. <laughs> I almost ate this entire thing. I hate myself. Um, I think he comes from German. German. <laughs> Germany! <laughs> <laughs>
They used to put these on my high school salad. I was like, why am I not getting like crunchies like yeah. you? I love these things. Crap ass. <laughs> We're literally at the start, like, what do we feel like eating? Go ahead, Pat. Tell me some of your... I can't think of any. Jeez. What is this? I'm just stopping this one. I miss. Mm. What was that one I was telling you about? Oh. Mm. What? Breastfeeding? Oh, okay, that one. Um. No, oh, what's the other one that you thought? That um, one's gross. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not gross, but like, you know, mm -hmm. it's a lot. I'm sorry. Um. Are you serious? There's <laughs> a crouton. Where'd it go? It left. Okay. Anyways. There was this... Boy, obviously they're actors. And he was like yelling at his mom in a shoe store. I want these shoes. And she's like, you can only spend $100 here. And she gave him a budget. He went for $200 shoes. And she said, no, I can't get those. And he's like, I'm not an idiot. I know you're just spending a lot of money on the divorce. No wonder dad left you. You're so cheap. And like he's yelling at her. And I'm just like, oh my God. And this man was like, like yelling at well not yelling at him but like lecturing him like you shouldn't talk to your mom that way and like other people were like ignoring him like not saying anything and trying to be nice about it because like you can't necessarily like tell someone's kid how to act and so like people were telling him to not act like that to his mom and one of the ladies was like give your mom a hug and so he did and whatever but like i don't know I feel like Those are hard because you literally can't. You can't say anything. You can't do anything. Yeah. It's when it's an adult on an adult. Mm hmm Like the one where the nail lady. Wouldn't do her nails? Yeah. Because she one. was fat. Oh, there was one where. She told her, I'm going to have to charge you a little bit more. And the oh, other yeah. lady's like, why? And she's like, because look at her. I was like. And then the ladies were like, she's so beautiful. I remember one of the girls started crying. Mm-hmm. I was like. Like I cried during those shows. I cried during all them. the time. I'll be like, I literally was bawling, bawling, cause um. So there was this couple, a woman and a woman, and they had two kids, and the waiter was like, "Are you guys sisters?" And she just saw them kiss, <laughs> and she was okay with it. <laughs> I was like, "What?" But anyways, and this man, the, the this is in Texas, and in Texas is it, it isn't legal. It isn't. No. Oh. I don't think it is. Like, then it wasn't during that or whatever. Oh. And so, like, the people in Texas aren't very, aren't very open-minded, so they did it in, like, a small town, you know? Yeah. On purpose. <laughs> and so. <laughs> Trying to get people peeved. <laughs> and so, the waitress, who is an actor, obviously, was, um, like, saying all these, like, horrible things to them. Like, saying, like, they need a father. Like, who's going to teach them this? Who's going to allow them to do this in life? And it, she's like, you two can't raise them. And then, like, one of them will start crying or something. And then this man was like, leave them alone. Don't talk to them. And, like, he was very nice. And he got up and he left. And, like, they just thought he got mad and left. But he came back and he, um, one of the actors, um, one of the women was an actual um, lesbian. And the other one was just an actress. But... Um, she was like actually so it's like she's witness not witness um, experienced things like that and so sorry this bat looked really good huh? <laughs> what? the bat looked really good and I was just holding it <laughs> I'm alright you can take a breath and so he comes back and he hands her a note and it's all these things saying like you are good enough, like, all this stuff. And she started crying, like, genuinely started crying. And then I started crying because it was such a beautiful no. And I was <laughs> and then he started crying. And then John Quinones even almost started crying. And I was <laughs> you should watch that one. <laughs> after. I, we'll watch it right after. Yeah. I literally was binge watching them. I think it was Saturday night, last that night. That could, like, take your whole day. Remember that one time? <laughs> we sat here with um her dad. 
mm-hmm. watching what would you do for hours and we were just mm-hmm. like oh my god like you know the way people react to things or the way like the woman, like, the actors are talking to the other actors is so ridiculous. Remember the Mexican in the restaurant? Which one? Um, one of the workers of a restaurant, like, he's a gardener, came in to eat. Like, mm-hmm. it's like an outdoor restaurant. Mm-hmm. And he sat down with his food, and then, like, the people were like, um, I don't think you should be sitting here. Oh. And he's like, why? I just bought food. Like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna have my lunch. And they're like, don't you work here? And he's like, yeah. And they're like, well, then what's your problem? You should sit somewhere oh, else. And, and then the people are yeah. like. Cause like, because he was Mexican and kind of like dirty a little bit. But like, mm-hmm. he's working. Like, he's working. And he paid for food. Like, he's a customer. What? Mm-hmm. There was another one kind of similar to that. But um, a waitress was me- Mexican. Or they assumed. I think I've seen that one. Um, They're like, um, can we get a different server? And, like, this one, like, the very last one, you know how they always put the intense ones at the end? Mm-hmm. This woman gets up, and it's entire, like, it was like, okay, the table was right here, there was two tables. Two tables? No, one table. And the couple was right here, and they're white or whatever. And they wanted a different server because he was Mexican. And, like, this entire row just starts attacking the two actors. And a woman t- got up and said, told the manager to have them leave. And the manager was, wasn't doing it. The manager was an actor as well. And what happened? Um, one of the women, like, the, it was an old woman. And she got up and she started yelling at them to get out. And was saying, if you don't have the courage to do it, I'm going to do it. And she's cussing. She's yelling. And um, it was, like, so intense because this entire row was attacking them. And then they finally left and they were, like, clapping their hands. And then John Quinones walked in. And then another one before that, it was these three people. It was two women and a man. And they were like, hey, don't talk to him that way. He's out here trying to make a living. You don't know his race. Just by his looks, you don't know if he's this or that. And then they were saying, like, well, who, what's your race? And he's like, I'm Italian. And he's like, well, how do you think your people got here? And, like, saying all these things, like, trying to make them feel stupid. Uh-huh. And then the another the, one of the old women got up and, like, was hugging him and saying like she like you know the how they wear safety pins right here for like immigration people uh-huh. like she was like crying saying like i wear this for people like you know just like <laughs> and i started crying and then like the mexican who was the wait waiter was crying too and i was just... <gasps> sorry i like my ringtone um it was grandma i'll call everyone when i'm done <clears throat> Did I tell you about the time when I worked at the insurance place? And what they did to the lady with the sign? No. I don't think so. Okay. I only worked at, remember, my cousin's insurance place? Mm-hmm. I only worked there for two weeks. You know the people that shake the sign? Well, it was a Mexican lady and oh. a Mexican, I don't know if it was her nephew or something. Mm-hmm. But she was older, you know? So she was really older and it was kind of like she was taking care of him, but he was like kind of taking care of her she was old. Mm-hmm. And like... She went to lunch and she came back. Like, you know they're on time because they're so careful. And the manager started yelling at her, like, in her face. And telling her, how dare you go to lunch and all this stuff. And I'm like, it's scheduled. Like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I I can read a clock. Mm -hmm. She was on time and everything. But I guess she didn't ask or something. But, like, it's on the schedule. Yeah. She's just screaming at her. And I told her, why are you talking to her like that? She's like, why don't you mind your own business? And I was like... Um, and I was 18, you know, in my first job. I didn't want to, like, lose my job because I'm, you know. But I literally was like, uh, but I don't get it. Like, me se pendeja. Mm-hmm. I'm like, but I don't get it. Like, we all have a lunch and it's all right there. Like, it's on the wall, you know. And she's like, no, well, you need to mind your business. She has a job to do and she can't be walking away from it. I don't know. It was, it was ugly. I just remember being, trying to be like, uh, you can't talk to her like that. Mm-hmm. It was just so hard. And since I was little, like, you don't really know how to mm-hmm. like, approach someone. Mm-hmm. And your, your manager, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh. I just feel like when you're young, you don't know what to say. Now I know what the hell to say, you know? Yeah. Like, even I feel like sometimes when I see something happening, I don't even know what to say because I'm just, like, so, like, mm-hmm. in shock. Mm-hmm. Like, when that thing happened to me at school. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. Oh, yeah. All these noises. <laughs> Jenny the Loca. <laughs> Hi, Jenny the Loca. Um, 
So yeah, like when something happened to me, I didn't know how to react, and I was just like, oh my god. It's just very good. Yeah. <clears throat> So yeah, let me know if you've ever had any situations where you're like, do right. I say something or yeah. do I not? Mm-hmm. I do a lot, huh? I feel like... I don't think you I've know been what? there. No, like that one lady with mm-hmm. her kid, where she got mad because I told her they're only little for so long. She's like, you don't know what you're talking about. And I was like, I have four. I think I know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. She got mad. Um, there was one where... But she, she didn't get mad, but like... She her kids had lice and told her that hair dye works. And she was buying like mayonnaise and stuff. And you were like, hair dye works? And she was like, oh. And she went and got, went and got hair dye. But like, she could have reacted in a completely different way. Mm-hmm. You know? There's some people where they take it and they're like, oh, you know, like they talk to you. But some are just like, like, oh my God. And one time, this lady, didn't she flip you off? Like when she was turning and you were coming home? I don't remember. No, I was taking the kids, and she followed me all the way to where the bus stops. Oh, yeah. She followed me far. Yeah. And a bus, you know how buses stop, and then they have a little stop sign thing that pops out, and you can't pass them? Mm-hmm. She cut me off. She cut. I'm like this, waiting behind a bus. She went in front of me like this mm-hmm. and blocked me and opened her window and was yelling. And I'm like, what is this bitch yelling about? Mm-hmm. She said I didn't stop so she can get out of her driveway. <laughs> I'm going. There's no stop sign. She's coming out of the school. They need to wait for you. Mm-hmm. And I did pause. I'm like, is this bitch going to throw herself out there? And she didn't, like, flinch or anything. So I, I'm not thinking, like, yeah, you know? But, yeah. She was screaming at me. And I had all my kids. I she know. was huge. I'm tiny. <laughs> I can't believe someone would chase you down like that, though. People How are far. People are petty. Remember the one guy on Zuni? No. After I went and picked up my churches? He had all those... You know when you go off riding, all the off roading, all the lights. Mm-hmm. It was all over my ass until I pulled over, and then he just oh waited. God, yeah. It I was, was so like scared Jeepers for Creep- you. It yeah. was like Jeepers Creepers. I remember she told me I literally was like about to cry because like, I like my heart was racing. I was like, what, what do I do? do? Do I take off? Do I call nine one one? It's shitty reception on right mm-hmm. on that corner. That was I've never been scared. Yeah, she's that normally one, just like that was a one day because I couldn't believe like what did I do to you? I didn't do yeah. anything to you. I'm almost home. And so then after, I didn't come straight home because yeah, I was afraid she kept driving. he was going to follow me. We do that. Sometimes when a car's behind us for a long time, we'll keep driving and we don't go home. Yeah, I don't want to be followed. So I'm I'm always, like, paranoid. It's because, like, we're, we're paranoid people as it is. And then we watch things and then we get even more paranoid. Mm-hmm. Like, literally, I... The babies were playing outside today. I had anxiety the entire time. Like, even though they're out back, we have the side gate that's open. Mm-hmm. So anybody could just walk up in there. And You're like, far. Well, okay, it's the point. You so, don't have to walk up our driveway. Sh- all the way up to side. That's a long walk. People are like that. They'd be snatching and running for a mile. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, what are you talking yeah, about? They like, trip on so much stuff on the way out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So I was just so scared and I kept checking on them and like I kept trying to hear for them and I turned my stuff down so I could hear them. Dude, I walked out there like three times. Yeah, I kept like walking out there and just watching them for a little bit. I don't know. I'm just paranoid like that. Like, I'm scared my children are going to get stolen. And, like, with Pumba, we were in the stores today. And, like, she was looking at shirts and I was looking at shirts on the other side. And, like, she was alone. So, I kept, like, looking and seeing if she's there and stuff. Yeah, my my chihuahua. Oh, wow, Pac. Pac's moving on to dessert. I'm pretty full. Like, what? Come through salad. You had a lot of these, kind of. Uh, I was hungry. Mm-hmm. I, I was really hungry. I wasn't saying it's bad. Oh my goodness. You want a piece? Hmm? No, gracias. If you guys want to send me Easter cards, I still have my wall of love. If you, Because, like, I want to fill it. I really do. It's like 10%. <laughs> it's like 15, huh? Mm-hmm. 
Easter cards are cute. Mm-hmm. Mm, Valentine's past. What else is there? I want to get one of those peep things. The huge peep? It's not huge. It's Wait, like, oh, you're talking big. about a pillow? Yeah. Oh, I thought to eat. Oh, no, a pillow. It's just an eating channel. <laughs> They're like twelve dollars at Target. What at color? Least. Um. Well, they don't have it in black, <laughs> so I'd probably get like purple. While spray painting it. I know. <laughs> While dyeing it. I'd probably get it in purple. 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 What's the color, little pee pad? <laughs> no. Dislikes little pee. No. <laughs> I don't even know. Like. Oh my god, the last time I said it about Billie Eilish, everybody like crapped their pants. I don't care. I don't know and I don't care. <laughs> like, okay, not... but like, you, you say that he's not, you don't think he is like an amazing person because he has tattoos on his I, face. No, no, no. I don't give a shit. Okay, but he was such a good person. I don't person. know. I don't know. Well, he was a good person. You know who's person. a good person? Keanu Reeves. He got up. That's true. You know? But he's a good person But see, like, too. that's like a video. Like, that's proof. That's like on paper. I, can, I don't know that person, Lil Peep. I don't know him. I don't know. His name is Gustav. Just running. What is he? Um, I think he comes from German. German? <laughs> <laughs> Germany! <laughs> I think he comes from Mexico. <laughs> I think he comes from Mexico. He comes from America. <laughs> she just doesn't finish. I just... <laughs> I think she, he comes from American. Anyways, Germany. <laughs> You're red as your shirt, dude. <laughs> I almost ate this entire thing. I hate myself. He was born in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and was raised on Long Island, Island New York. <clears throat> What was he, though? Okay, there you go. That's where I got that. His mom was German and Irish, and his father was German and Swedish. So there you go. He was German, but he wasn't from Germany. He's from Pennsylvania and was raised in New York. So that's where I went wrong. (sighs) I want a cookie. I don't. I do. Well, because you had a big old sweet. I'm going to go have cookies. This is the thing. I get discouraged. Why? Because even you know this. Sometimes you're cleaning and nothing's happening. Uh, It just kind of feels like we're relocating things. Anyway. The shade. Mine are black. I'm not trying to just wear black tonies all the time. It's just what it is. Mine actually aren't. What are they? Are they pink? No. Yellow. I have to do laundry there. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're blue. But like not a, a subtle blue. No. No. They're like turquoise. They're like you don't have color in this room. What am I talking about? No. I love this room. Oh like No, they're brighter. Now I'll just show you. That's like green, dude. Turquoise, like aqua. <laughs> That's yeah, pretty. it is. <laughs> Celine did her eyebrows went. In here. <laughs> no bean. <laughs> oh, now the cat came in. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>